Hi friends, in this video we see about mutual inductance. So mutual inductance means whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil, there is also change of flux linked with the neighboring coil producing induced EMF in the second coil. Here we see uh, we speak about two coils. Okay, when uh, the when the change uh, when the change in magnetic flux linked with first coil, okay, is also change the flux linked with the neighboring coil and producing the EMF that is electromotive force in the second coil. Okay, this phenomena of induced EMF in the second coil due to change in current in the other coil is called the mutual induction okay here on circuit diagram is there here p and this is p and s are two coils placed close to each other okay so p is connected this uh, first coil p, p means primary coil this primary coil is connected to a battery through a key k okay S is connected, S is secondary coil, is connected to a galvanometer G. On pressing key K, key K the, current, uh, the current in P starts increasing from 0 to a maximum value. Okay, when we press the key K, there is current flows in the circuit, in the primary uh, circuit. Okay, then... Um, as the flow of current increases, the magnetic flux linked with P increases. Okay. So, if current increases, the magnetic flux uh, in P is increases. Okay. So, therefore, magnetic flux linked with S also increases. Here, if the current flows in the primary circuit, so magnetic flux linked with the coil P increases. Uh, the, uh, then, there is also increase in magnetic flux in the coil yes here no current is flow in the secondary circuit but due to the uh, primary coil uh, there is some uh, emf uh, the, there is some uh, magnetic flux linked with the coil is increases okay so this produces induced emf in yes okay so um, one electromotive force is created in the coil, yes, due to the primary, okay. Now, the galvanometer shows the deflection, okay. Then, the, the EMF is induced, that means current flow. So, uh, galvanometer shows some deflection, okay. According to Lenz law, the induced current in S would oppose the increase in current P by flowing in a direction opposite to the current B. Okay. Thus delaying the growth of current to a maximum volume. When the key K is released, okay, uh, then current starts decreasing from maximum to zero value. Then the magnetic flux linked with the P decreases. That is, uh, now, uh, now we release the K key. There is current is uh, current flows uh, current flows decreases from maximum to zero then automatically the magnetic flux linked with the coil p also decreases okay therefore due to the decrease of magnetic flux linked with the coil p okay the, the magnetic flux linked with the coil s also decreases and hence an em of is induced in Yes, okay. So, according to Lenz law, the induced current in S flows in such a direction so as to oppose the decrease in current. Okay, so that is um, current opposite the magnetic flux, isn't it? So, ne uh, next one, coefficient of mutual inductance. Let current IB be the current in the coil P, then pi S is the magnetic flux linked with the coil S due to the current in the coil P. Okay. So, we can write pi S equal to uh, MP. That is, that means pi S is proportional to uh, IP. 
okay then uh, remove the proportionality constant uh, proportionality then we add one constant that is m okay so pi s equal to m i p okay uh, here m is called the coefficient of mutual inductance now we take uh, i p that is current in the primary coil is 1 ampere then we can write pi s equal to m okay if es is the induced emf in the coil s according to laws of electromagnetic induction es equal to minus t by by dt isn't it this is the uh, law of electromagnetic induction that is electro uh, electro uh, motive force is opposed the uh, rate of change of uh, magnetic flux okay that is es equal to minus t by by dt then minus d substitute the value of pi that is m i p by t t okay then uh, take the m outside then minus m d i p by d t or uh, from this we can write m equal to minus e s by d i p by d t okay if d i p by d t equal to 1 ampere second minus 1 then we take uh, we write m equal to minus e s that means t i p by d t equal to 1 ampere second minus 1 so substitute the va va uh, value in this equation we get m equal to minus e s okay that means uh, thus the coefficient of thus the coefficient of mutual induction of two coil is numerically equal to the emf induced in one coil when the rate of change of current through the other coil is unity that means m equal to minus e s okay next one the coefficient of mutual inductance between two coil is depends on the following factors then the value of mutual inductance m depends on size and shape of the coil number of turns of the coil then permeability of the material then proximity of the coil okay there are four factors uh, the mutual inductance depends on the uh, this four factor okay next one now the coil p and s that is the primary two coil that is primary and secondary how their axis perpendicular to each other then what is the value of m okay that is uh, this is the perpendicular direction that p and ds are in perpendicular so the value of mutual inductance is small okay now uh, the two uh, p and s how their axis common this like okay the value of m is large that is mutual inductance value is large okay if two coils won't on a soft iron core m is very large that means if two and p s are mingled with each other then the value of m is very large if perpendicular means m is small then uh, same axis that is uh, the value of m is large if the coils are wound on a soft iron core that is m is very large okay now uh, the mutual induction of two long solenoid so what is the value of mutual induction of two long solenoid is m equal to mu n1 n2 a by i okay n1 n2 is the number of turns in the coil okay the number of turns uh, n1 is the first coil n2 is the second coil okay now we see method of inducing emf then is how to induce the emf okay that is electromagnetic force what is the way of uh, inducing the electromagnetic force okay that mm, that is emf can be produced by changing the first one magnetic induction b then area enclosed by the coil then orientation of the coil that is theta with respect to magnetic field okay so emf uh, we can't produce the emf by changing the b a theta with respect to magnetic field that is magnetic induction area and orientation okay that's all friends thank you